Hey everyone, this is Dr. Nishta Jain and today we will be learning about rows and columns. So actually how to insert or delete rows, columns or even cells. Alright, so let's start with that. But before that, let us just revise what is meant by a cell. So what is a cell? A cell means an intersection of a column and a row right so if i click here anywhere or maybe the colored ones if you see the colored blocks which you see here these are what these are cells so these are formed by the intersection of columns and rows so we are clear with this right yeah okay now let's see how to delete a column so for example if i want to delete column e okay we already know right columns are with the names with the alphabets and rows here are with the numbers so if i want to say something like you know do something in uh, maybe this cell so this is what this is column e and row 5 right so suppose i want to delete this column here so now you'll understand why i have colored certain you know cells here anyway so if i want to delete column e what will i do i will just go here on e with the left mouse button click on it and with the right mouse button click on it again and you will find an option to delete it okay so when you click on delete notice that the cell here shifts here the entire column on the right hand side shifts to the left hand side okay just observe it carefully so when i press delete what happened the column got deleted and this green cell which was in column f actually got shifted the complete you know, F column got shifted and became column E. So, just to not confuse you, I'll just tell you once again. See, we deleted column E. Left click, right click, delete. The entire column got deleted and the next column, the adjacent one on the right hand side, shifted on the left hand side. Right? Similarly, we can delete a row. So, suppose I want to delete, um, maybe I want to delete row 5. Yeah. So why I've selected row 5 because here there is a colored cell so that you can notice the difference when I delete it. Right. So suppose I want to delete row 5. So what will I do again? Again, left click on row number 5, right click, delete. The blue one got shifted up. Can you see this row? This entire row got shifted upwards. Right. So this is very simple. Right. How do you delete a row and a column? You've already seen that. Now, let's see how do you delete a particular cell, okay? Let us take this cell. So, it is cell number E7. Even if you don't know how to calculate, you know, how to make out the name of the cell, you can just see it here in the name box. Can you see this? E7. So, here it is. I'm sorry. So, here it is E, okay, and C. E got selected till 7th row, right? So, this is E7. Just for your understanding, I did it. Now, I want to delete this cell. So, when I do the same thing, left click, right click, delete, I will get four options here now. Okay, let's see. So, if you can see on the right hand side, there is a green cell. On the left hand side, there is a purple cell. So, let's see what happens. If I click again, delete. Now, here are the four options. Okay, shift cells left, shift cells right. Entire row you want to delete, entire column you want to delete. So, we have already seen how to delete entire row, entire column. So, we are not interested in that right now. What we will see is how to shift cells left. So, if I select this option, what will happen? See, if I click on OK, see, that cell got deleted and the green cell got shifted on the left. Did you notice that? Let's do it again, right? So, I click on the cell, right click, delete, okay? Shift cells left. Okay, so the cell got deleted and the green one got shifted on the left side, right? Is this clear? Now, let us see with the second option what happens, okay? So, suppose I want to shift uh, this to the right, maybe this cell to the right, okay? Right now, what we saw, the cell got shifted to the left side. Now, we want to see the purple cell shifting on the right side, okay? So, let's try it again. So, delete. Oh, it's not there actually. So, no problem. We can actually shift cells up. Okay. So, how do you notice if it's shifting upwards? Um, okay. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Fine. Let's delete this cell. Okay. Now, why did I think of it? Why you have to think when you're doing it? Because there is a colored cell there. So, I have to think in what way can I delete a cell though that, you know, this purple colored cell shifts upwards. Okay. So, if I delete, see that's but obvious. If I delete a cell above it, obviously it will sh shift upwards, right? You can actually select to shift cells up. Okay. And not down. So, how will you do it? 
you will go to this cell, right click, delete, shift cells up. Okay, so what will happen? Okay. Did you see any difference? No, because there is no colored cell nearby. Now let us try with this one. Okay, because there is a colored cell below it. So we can see it actually shifting upwards. So delete, shift cells up and okay. Did you notice? First, it was in the same row, the purple and the green cell, right? But now it got shifted upwards. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. So we can see one more thing here that is selecting a range of cells. That means a uh, entire group of cells, for example. Okay. So suppose I want to select some cells from here, beginning from here. So what do I do? Just click on it with the left mouse button and hold the mouse button there and stretch it like this or drag it like this, you can say. Okay. So whatever range of cells you want to select, you can drag it till there and leave it. Okay. So what happened? This range of cells got selected. Now you can color them. You can change the font if something is written there. All those things we can do. And we'll be seeing them in the next lecture. But for now, you should just know how to select a range of cells. So you will select a cell with the left mouse button, of course. Click on it, okay? Hold it and drag it along, okay? Just hold it and drag it along in whichever direction you want. Upwards, downwards, left, top, whatever you want, okay? You can actually do it very flexibly, right? Other than this, one more way is there, okay? If you don't want to use your mouse buttons for this, what you can do, again, just select the cell from where you want to start selecting the range of cells, okay? Press shift and the arrow key, which you are actually trying to do in whichever direction you want to go. So if I want to go to the right side, I'll keep on, you know, pushing or pressing the right arrow key till wherever I want. Then the down arrow key or maybe the up arrow key, whatever I want. Okay, wherever I want to select the range of cells, I'll use shift plus arrow key for that direction. I hope it's clear, guys. Yes. Okay, so you can actually select the range of cells with the mouse button also or with just shift and arrow keys. So, guys, I hope you've understood till here. So, now I'll meet you in the next lecture with new subtopics to make everything clear to you in a very, very simple way. So now I'll meet you in the next lecture. Till then, please keep studying, keep smiling and take care. Bye.